My first update on Tropical Storm Kevin as of March the 2nd, 2023 at 2 in the afternoon Vanuatu time. Now, Vanuatu has to do with this storm just after they've dealt with Judy the other day, unfortunately. Kevin has winds up to 70 miles per hour or 110 kilometers per hour and a pressure of 983 millibars. It is located around 14.4 degrees south, 162.8 degrees east, moving east southeast at 16 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. Now here's the latest JTWC forecast come. They have it a little bit weaker than my current analysis, but they are expecting the storm to strengthen as it passes through the Vanuatu Islands, peaking as a high-end category two on the Saffir Simpson scale or a high-end category three on the local scale. They are expecting the storm to rapidly weaken after three days due to very high wind shear. Now here's the tropical cyclone threat map from the Fiji Meteorological Service. Most of Vanuatu is under the warning sector. You can see they were also expecting a category three on their scale, the local scale. Uh, the statistical models. Now they are expecting generally, they, they are expecting the storm to generally strengthen. Some of the higher end models are expecting a high end category two, maybe a lower end category three, again on the Saffir Simpson scale. She is expected to rise and then drop, but then the shear is expected to skyrocket by the 4th of March. Sea surface temperatures and relative humidity will be on a general decline throughout the storm's life. Now here's the latest G GFS run. Uh, this GFS has the storm, the storm's pressure peaking in the 960 millibars. So a uh, high end category two or low end category three, just as the forecasts say. In terms of pressure, in terms of wind speeds, wind speeds on models, not really reliable. Around 80 knots at best for its peak. That's a high end category one on a Saffir Simpson scale. Uh, depend more on pressure when looking at models. So rainfall accumulation, not as, not as much as Judy. And uh, we could be seeing up to 175 millimeters on Vanuatu itself, on some islands of Vanuatu. So not as high as Judy. Now sea surface temperatures, they're gonna be on a gradual decline, but uh, they won't be a problem for the storm for a while, at least for the next three days. 28 Celsius temperatures as it passes through Vanuatu, and after passing after the, after its passage through Vanuatu, 27 Celsius and declining. Now the storm has been rapidly organizing, might be rapidly intensifying. So mm, the storm still remain. The storm will be a yet another significant storm for Vanuatu. So unfortunately, uh, Vanuatu is not out of the water, and those in the path of this storm should stay safe. And hopefully, hopefully this will be the last storm in a while for Vanuatu, because uh, we don't we don't we don't want the island chain to be dealing with a whole train of storms after dealing with two storms back to back.